guys. What are you looking at? How come when I have a half inch tap and I get a half inch drill, it doesn't work? Can you explain that? Yeah, yeah, that is a quandary. Why don't we talk about taps in general first? And then we might have a little bit better understanding of them. Okay. Okay. Okay, so then with a the half inch tap, what size drill do I need then? Well, what other information does it give you on the tap, Kevin? That's the really key well, part of this. It says half by 20. And you know what the and 20 a whole bunch of other little numbers down oh, there. Okay, let's go over this. Yeah, no, and, and that's very easily understandable. I brought something here a little bit easier for you. And maybe hey, now this knowledge. I can see. Okay, <laughs> so this is an inch and a quarter seven tap. What does all that mean? Well, an inch and a quarter, or in your case, a half inch, means okay. the body diameter or the outside diameter of the tap. Uh, the outside, outside diameter. diameter. The 20, or in this case, the 7, what that means is how many threads per inch this particular tap has. And this is an American or a standard tap. So what that means is, not metric, but there are 20 threads per inch, or what we call TPI. So, so Without getting all technical about that, let's just really go down to common sense. If I take a ruler out of here, right. you can see here, come on in here and check this out, that there are 7 teeth per inch. Okay. And my thumb is more or less where an inch is. Okay. I don't know if she can get on this smaller tap, but you can see that there are many more teeth. So, so is this a fine thread? Yeah, this would be actually a fine thread and a half 13, 13 threads per inch is normal for just a coarse thread. That's basically okay. all it means. Okay. To drill for one though, to actually tap with it, we don't use a half inch because that's the same size body tap. Right. Right. Okay. So what we would do for a half 13 is we would we'll use a 2464 drill. How do I know this? Well, I know this because I cheated and before we started shooting this, no. Because I'm a machinist, I know this and I use okay. this daily. Okay. But for those of us that don't, you can Google it. Go online. Check it out. Or if you bought a really handy what, what, what size tap to what use size tap? for I am looking for a tap drill of half 13, oh, okay. 7, 16, 20, okay. whatever you got to okay. use. Well, now, like here, I don't have the internet. Okay, well. Oh, is there some way I can cheat? Sure. Huh. You probably have a smartphone, but that being said, <laughs> in most of these tap sets that you've got, you'll have an actual tap chart that comes with it. And utilize those. They work out really well. Lost it. Lost it. Sorry. You know, I'll, the only so, other thing that you can do is you can actually calculate it, and there is a formula to calculate that. We're not going to get into that today. Okay. So my best suggestion is, before you got to do it, get the information. Do your research. In. Exactly. Okay. And that's a real quick and simple way of knowing what a half 13 or a half 20 mean. Huh. Cool. Cool. Thank you, buddy.